We gather in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection our hearts, the spirit of adoption, as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord God said to me, As for you, son of man, obey me when I speak to you. Be not rebellious like this house of rebellion, but open your mouth and eat what I shall give you. It was then I saw a hand stretched out to me, in which was a written scroll, which he unrolled before me. It was covered with writing front and back, and written on it was lamentation and wailing and woe. He said to me, Son of man, eat what is before you. Eat this scroll, then go, speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me the scroll to eat. Son of man, he then said to me, Feed your belly and fill your stomach with the scroll I'm giving you. I ate it and it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. He said, Son of man, go now to the house of Israel and speak my words to them. The word of the Lord. Amen. Responsorial Psalm. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. How sweet to my days is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. How sweet to my days is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Sweet to my days is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gaps with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Please rise. Alleluia, alleluia. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I'm meek and humble of heart. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen. I say to you, unless you, you turn and become like children, 
you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that the angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly father that one of these little ones be lost. Dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, hi. Can you hear me at the back? Is it loud and clear? Yes. Somebody approached me, Father, uh, I could not hear. I have my hearing aid. Uh, will you please uh, louder your voice? Uh, faith comes through hearing. So what is important is uh, you can hear always the voice of God, the word of God. People keep on inviting me for uh, dinner, for lunch, for uh, supper. So I always told them, I am on diet. <laughs> <laughs> but how could I refuse to the delicious food? I keep on eating the Texans uh, meat, okay? the uh, Vietnamese food, the Chinese food, Filipino food, and American food. They are all delicious. We always eat every day. We need uh, food. That's why when we pray the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. We are praying to God for sustenance. We are praying for material food and spiritual food. Spiritual food is the word of God. And the word made flesh is the body of Christ. So what is important is we receive always the body of Christ. The word made flesh. Our spiritual uh, sustenance. God feed prophet Ezekiel with the word of God, with written scroll, and it was sweet as honey. In like manner, when we eat the word of God, we are, uh, it is becoming part of our body. We are what we eat, according to one of the naturalist philosophers, Pure Back. We are what we eat. And St. Augustine also said, we are what we receive. And St. Thomas also said, we are what we love. And the liturgist would say, we are what we worship. So what are we feeding in our minds, in our hearts? And what are we feeding to our youth today, to our people today, to our children today? Are we feeding them with the Word of God? Are we feeding them with Christian virtues? Are we feeding them with good values? We need the Word of God for our daily sustenance, so that it will become part of our body. We are what we eat. When uh, we eat the Word of God, we eat the body of Christ, we become like Christ. We become like Him. We think like Christ. We talk like Christ. We feel like Christ. We love like Christ. So let us always receive 
with open hearts like little children the word of god for our daily sustenance because the word of god the body of christ is the panis angelicus the bread for angels our bread for our journey as well and our uh, food for our eternal life for god said anyone who eats my body and drinks my blood will live forever We turn now to the Lord and lift up the prayers of this community. For the church throughout the world, may God grant each of us the courage and perseverance to humbly trust in His plan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For local leaders, may God grant them prudence and wisdom to protect the most vulnerable in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all children, especially those who suffer abuse or neglect, may God provide people and resources to come to their protection and aid. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this faith community gathered today, may God help us cultivate humility to accept this word with a childlike faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have died, mark as Christ on forever. May they enter into the fullness of life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the intentions of Kenneth Wright, Tommy, and Elias. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, we humbly lift up these prayers and ask that you graciously hear us in our need. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, the praise and glory of His name, for our good and Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered by your power to, to transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And in His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. So therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs with eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my house. 
Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Be Saint Michael, the Archangel, spur. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protection against the wickedness and snares of May remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone fled thy protection and who was worth thy help was only in spite of his confidence, he died as a day, O virgin of virgins, our mother, the day to come before his stand, sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in the verse and hear and answer them. Amen. Our little Lord's pray, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And, and may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass 
He said that, let us go in peace. Thanks. Thanks.